If you are thinking I am going to tell you any shortcut to learn a programming language then this video is definitely for you. I am not going to tell you any shortcut because there is no shortcut to learn a programming language. What I am going to tell you in this video is the right path to learn a programming language, best way to learn a programming language. What students do, how they learn a programming language, maybe it's because of your uh, you know uh, college environment and that's the way they teach you. Like, in first semester you have C, so you started learning C language, like first you will learn some syntaxes, then uh, that hello world program, then some addi addition program, sub subtraction program, program to check whether a number is prime or not, whether a number is even or odd, to find out factorial, to find out Fabianic series and some advanced level program, right. That is how we exactly learn programming language and then just your uh, semester comes and, uh, and most of the students do some ratification also. I think uh, they want to memorize those syntax, they want to memorize those programs just to pass the semester, so just to pass your lab practicals and that's over. In next, sem next semester you have C++, but see if you have written, sometimes many students think if you have written a program, hello world program, you have just printed hello world and what you think, I am a programmer, no. You are not dear. Right now you don't even know P of programming. And if you follow this path, like this I have discussed, that is going to be followed in your um, college to learn a programming language. At last, what you will say, I'm not good in implementing logic. I'm not able to think logic. I'm not in, I'm not good in any programming language. And ultimately what you will think, it's very tough. I cannot learn any programming language. But the mistake is what? The path you follow to learn a programming language. It's not your mistake. You are right person. It's not like that your brain is of not of that type or you are a weak student, you are dumb. No, the path you are following to learn a programming language, that is wrong. So that's exactly I'm going to discuss in this video, the right path to learn a programming language. Right. Before that, just want to tell you one thing. If you are interested in competitive programming, then An Academy in collaboration with CodeChef has started a course to learn competitive programming. There you can take free live classes and if you are not able to take live classes, it's okay. You can attend um, their recorded sessions also. The top educators are going to teach you. Those are uh, toppers of ACM, ICPC, finalist of ICPC and working in top giant companies like Google, Flipkart, Amazon. Right. And if you like their free classes, then you can go for their paid subscription. And if you will go for their paid subscription, after that you will get a proper structured course. Interactive session would be there with these top educators. And one more thing, they have categorized these classes into three levels, like for beginners, for intermediate level and for advanced level. So obviously you know yourself at what level you are in competitive programming. So according to that, you can watch that playlist. And these are free classes. So I'll give you the link of these free classes of all the levels in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. And a test is also there, like um, it's called a programming aptitude test to test your programming skills. It is of uh, 25 minutes and 10 MCQs would be there in this test. There is no validity of this test. You can take any time. And they are also conducting a scholarship test named CodeChef Programming Scholarship Test. That is on 12th of December and you can freely take this test. You just have to enroll. Then you can attempt the test live and the top 10 rankers would get a chance to get a free subscription for one month. So you can pick the right test for you. The detail is over here. So if you are interested, you can go for uh, these tests. All the links, whatever I have discussed here, the links for those things I'll give you and all the details I'll provide you in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. So now let us discuss what is the right path, what is the best way to learn a programming language. See, first point is very clear, you have to be good at fundamentals. So just pick one language in which you are interested, C, C++, Java, Python, any language. Pick one. Clear your fundamentals, your fundamentals, your basics should be very strong because if your basics are strong, then it is, you know, very easy for you to grab the advanced concepts. And if your basics are not so strong and if you directly jump to the advanced topics, advanced concepts and definitely you will stuck somewhere. So first of all, work on your basics, right? That is very true. What you have to do next thing after clearing your fundamentals, now what you have to do and see if you are learning a language by yourself means you are not depending on whatever they teach in colleges so hardly it will take five or ten days maximum ten days to learn fundamentals to be good in fundamentals after that it's not like that you have to complete the proper course of that c language or any language you are uh, choosing right now what you have to do is second thing what you have to do it's 
project based learning you have to do now it's time to pick a project now it's time to work a project to work on a project right maybe it's uh, if you are interested in any website development or any windows application or any uh, app development mobile app development ios uh, app development take that project simple project starting in starting take simple project and start working on that project right because see whenever you are writing a program like in in first semester you have c language or in uh, second semester you have c language you are writing that programs everything like to print hello world edition and uh, to find out fabinic series and everything you are writing it's okay but now you know do you know the you know true meaning of writing those programs or you are just writing programs you are just learning that language to pass semester exams to pass your uh, lab practicals that's it i'm damn sure this question would have arisen in mind of many students when they are learning any programming language when they were writing code like why i'm writing this code what is that uh, that true meaning of learning this programming language what is the meaning of writing this for loop where i will use this for loop or while loop or all the you know syntax or everything i'm learning here so see i'm going to tell you if you are playing a video game behind that screen is also how you are able to play that video game behind that this is a software behind that there is a lengthy code and someone has written that code so i think why these programming language had been invented to to make something to build something so that people can use that thing to make some applications some softwares games or any apps so that people can use those apps those softwares and it is going to make real life the uh, life of people easy they can use it so i think that should be your reason to learn a programming language so that you can build something so that you can build any app or any software any application people can use it will going to make uh, the life of others people easy it is not like that you are just learning a language because it's in your curriculum and you have to pass semester exam you have to pass your practicals right if you think like this then you will never be so good in a in any programming language your aim should be to build something so that's exactly start working on a project after your fundamentals after clearing your fundamentals right like suppose if you are working on a project maybe uh, here there you want to implement like user id and password and then maybe forgot some kind of website you are you are making so now you will uh, you know search how you can make this text box and if in password how you can uh, you know uh, apply that validation like if someone enter wrong user id wrong password then it sh definitely it should show that you have entered incorrect user id or incorrect password right so how to implement this logic then you will search you can ask help for others like many platforms are also there like stack overflow many platforms are there there you can post your question you will definitely get a good answer then you will come to know the true meaning why you are learning everything that in programming language for loops and everything like any other things also like yeah this is how we are going to check validation okay this is the code that is why i am using this so better to start playing with code as early as possible it's kind of active learning rather than passive learning and remember sooner you start playing with the code the faster you will learn that concept and this is true see let's take one more example that example of time complexity this is i think you know optimization of algorithm you have to write optimized algorithm like the time complexity should be in log n it should not be order of n square it should it should be n log n or log n that is good but what is the use of this optimization of algorithms what is the use of this time complexity space complexity then that time when you are working on a project suppose you are making any app at that time see suppose uh, when anyone is clicking on that app or anything in within that app and it is taking 10 seconds uh, to load so it is not good you think that how can you reduce this time at that time the actual meaning of time complexity the actual meaning of optimization of algorithm will uh, you will understand how to optimize and why you are optimizing your algorithm because if anything is uh, taking 10 seconds to upload then and some other thing some other app is taking only 1 second 2 second then definitely the users will go for that app that is taking less time so you have to optimize your code also right so at that time you will come to know the meaning of these things
when you are working on projects, when you are making apps, when you are making any applications, any softwares. So rather than searching how to learn a language, like how to learn Java, Java tutorials, watching those tutorials, just writing programs. No, that is not enough. It is not right path. Start making a project. If you stuck somewhere, then search how to implement this thing in project, how to implement this thing using Java or any language, then you will come to know, then the solution will come. Many solutions maybe will come when you are searching and see, please do not underestimate the power of search. Unlimited resources are there on internet. You just have to search those resources. You just have to utilize those resources. Please do not be dependent on just on your books and the faculties and on your college. Self-learning. This is also very important and I guess you will learn more by applying this technique, this self-learning techniques rather than depending on your faculties, on your college and your textbooks, right? So start building a project while you are going through that study material you have because the, any personal project that is a very good starting point. It's not like that you are waiting for your faculties, for your, you know, curriculum to ask you to uh, make a project like in third year or in final year. No, you have to start making project from first year, from first semester only. Or as soon as you learn a programming language or no, no, not after learning a programming language, while you are learning a programming language, at that time only start making a project. That's exactly you have to do. And if you will follow this path, then you will never have to memorize any syntax, anything and it will be in your memory for a long time, all the syntaxes and everything about that programming language. And if you learn a, one programming language, it is not so easy, so difficult for you to learn another programming language. Actually, this technique I'm going, I'm telling you based on my experience. So that's it for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.